Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter has made a fortuitous discovery. We found water somewhat closer to the equator than we were expecting to see it. Uh, we discovered several new impact craters that dredged up or excavated ice from below the surface. These craters were found between about 45 and 55 degrees north, so that's the latitude of about Paris. The Context Camera team detects new impacts by examining before and after images of a certain portion of the surface and then looking for changes. Usually what they see is a dark mark that the impact has left on the surface. So then the higher resolution camera, the high-rise camera, follows up on that observation. When HiRISE went in and took an image of these small craters, they saw this very bright, bright blue material that was poking out from the bottom of these craters, and it looked a lot like water ice. So they took this image using their spectrometer, saw that in one of the five, there was in fact a signature of ice. HiRISE continued to take a series of images over several hundred days, and what they were actually able to do is watch how the, the ice disappears over time. So if you take the styrofoam lid off your cooler, here on Earth the ice starts to melt, but on Mars it just turns into water vapor. And sure enough, it faded away like you would expect water ice to fade away. So we have an idea now of how, uh, how much water was available in the Martian atmosphere in the recent past based on where we see ice in the subsurface today. One of the uh, great ironies about this discovery is that um, uh, several of these craters were found in the vicinity of one of the Viking landers. And that lander had an arm that dug down into the soil looking for ice. And what we realized from looking at the distribution of ice from these craters is that if that lander had gone down six inches deeper, it should have found ice. It just stopped inches short of where it could have found ice. I think one of the things that's really interesting about this is that it gives us a new window into the water story on Mars. You know, the whole Mars program has been following the water. And this is our first insight into how water and climate have changed on Mars over the last 10 to 100,000 years. It gives us another piece of the puzzle to understand the climate history of Mars.